what's up guys in this video i'm going to teach you how to communicate with different forms so i mean like exchanging data between forms like you can send data from form one and get data from form two as well so this is not possible if you do it in the traditional i mean that's not traditional but if you do it the same way you would do in form one so uh, enough chuckering so let's get started so First of all, you need to create a C++ CLR Windows Forms application, which is quite the hassle. So you may want to watch this video right here, or there will be a link in the description as well. So first, we need to design two forms, like form one, form two dot h, like that. So in the form one, I have created a text box and so a send button and a text box. And in here, I have placed this label, so that is gonna be short. Sure. All right, so these are the two forms. So first, what I'm gonna do is, I will double click on this guy, and also I will go to the top of the form 1.h, remember in the form 1.h, which is the main form. So I'm gonna include the form 2.h, like that. So back to the button click event, and in here, what I'm gonna do is, I will create the object, and we can, do like that so yeah we need to put that right there all right so this will not suffice our need so what we need to do is send data to the form 2 so to do that we can use the constructor so what, what i'm going to do is i'll go to form 2.h which you can do by right clicking here and clicking view code and in here i'm going to copy and paste this constructor and make an overload for it which takes a string data like that so you can also make changes to the default constructor but i'm just gonna do it this way because that is much safer and you know it is better to have an overload without just making changes to the default constructor so what i am going to do is i will take a string called data as the parameter and after the initialize component method call i will do lbl data which is the label in the form 2 as you saw previously text equals data right now this will take the data as parameter and it will do this so next back to the form 1 we need to pass the data or the string so to do that i will get data from the text box which is called txt data and pass that so now we have sent a string so all we have to do is show dialog all right so let's try this so i will type something here and yeah it works so next i will type something like that and it works so that's it with the first part which is sending data from form 1 to form 2 which is pretty easy next we are going to do the opposite of it which is taking data from form 2 to form 1 so we are not going to do the same thing which we did here which is creating an object and passing data to the constructor because that won't work the way we want and even if we do both of them which is create an object here and also in the form 2 it won't work because that's gonna give us an error so what we need to do is create a public method in form 2.h which we can then access in form 1.h so just like the show dialog method we need to create another method which we can retrieve data and make sure it is public so what i'm going to do is i will actually cut this guy and paste it here paste it here and cut this guy and paste it here so i will change the text here to send all right and here to show all right so the logic is pretty simple so what i am going to do is first i will go to form 2.h and just ignore this wordless in here what we need to do is first we need to create a public method called you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it um get data all right and i am going to actually all right i'm going to return the data from the text box yeah so in the button one click event i will do close which is going to close the form so the button one will do nothing actually in the context of getting data it will just close the form back to the form one we need to do the same thing here so we need to create an object without passing any parameters 
and after showing the dialog what i can do is i will type lbl data text equals form 2 get data like that so now if we run the program this should work so show up and i will type something yeah and send yeah stuff works so i will type malindu which is my name if you guys didn't know and also i can type subscribe to my channel lol so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and also get subscribed and let's meet you in the next one goodbye bye for now yeah whatever